Okay, so I installed this air conditioner about eight months ago and everything works perfect inside, everything's nice and schmick. However, the customer was saying that the unit was sounding very loud and louder than other air conditioners that they had heard. So I came and had a look at it um, and like on a Friday afternoon and it was definitely making a noise. Um, anyway, I've come back today and taken some more measurements and it's not making a noise at all. Um, I've checked the pressures, taken amp readings of the compressor, um, put my Dakin tool on. So basically I've come to the conclusion that this the problem is the compressor. Um, I find that sometimes with inverters, the compressor, when it's fully ramped up, it might not make a noise, but if there's a fault in the compressor, when it ramps down and the inverter frequency is at like 50, that's when they can start to make a bit of a rattly noise. So I definitely think there's a problem with the compressor, um, which is a bit disappointing considering it's only eight months old. But anyway, I'm going to get that changed over today and yeah, hopefully that solves the problem and we'll go from there. So when recovering the refrigerant, you need to change the field code setting on the wall controller and then you need to recover the refrigerant. One of your hoses goes to either one of those service ports and one goes up to the refrigerant recovery port up there. So yeah, just whenever you're doing this, just make sure you put it into the recovery mode via the wall controller and then one hose there and one hose up there. I just use, so I own that bottle, I just basically use that as a reclaim bottle and then once it's full I'll just change it over to, to an actual bottle and then take it back to them. Um, I have so many bottles and I'm trying to like not have to pay so much rental. But I'm going to put fresh R32 in this at the end of it. It's my boo. I can make a quarter million off a high cool. 
And I could make another quarter off at times two. If it's money on the table, I'll be on it like Bobby or Epic. You peep the aesthetic, it's hard to forget it. I hear you talking, but you're hardly right. I'm the voice of your prototype. Mm. Summertime and why? So I've taken that apart. So it looks like it's basically if you haven't done one of these before, what I normally do is take the panels off. That like sli slides out of these things. So that just goes in there and you just need to lift it up and it moves. That I just move to the side and it gives you plenty of room to get around the back. This isn't like a compressor change on some old not in non-inverter thing like it's tight so you need to give yourself as much room as possible so you, so you don't like cook anything i keep bits of um like old vibro in the car that i slip in behind stuff when i'm soldering just to make sure i don't burn anything but yeah all in all you just need to take your time and yeah just give yourself heaps of room has like an expanded bit for you to put your pipe in I normally on the one that I'm taking out just use my tube cutters to cut the pipe below there below there and then once I have room in here then I can unsweat unsweat and clean up the pipe I feel like it just makes it easier because there's more room in there and you just gotta obviously take the there's like a thermal overload that doesn't come with the compressor you need to change that over also I'm gonna check the um, electronic expansion valve coil Got one of them in the car if I need to change it, but I'm assuming it'll be alright. 
sweets. Alright, so I've got the oxyacetylene out. Basically, I run a number eight when I'm doing tight stuff. But the key is to, you need to have some emery paper to clean the pipes, obviously. Um, I have, I don't know where I put it. Oh yeah, I just have like a bag in my van with little bits and pieces of fibro that honestly are the best things because like, for example, you just like put it behind stuff and you don't burn anything. Um, so basically I just run nitro through the pipes, just a slight bit of nitro and yeah, it's like one of those things where it looks heaps daunting if you're an apprentice and watching this then um just take your time just take your time um get a decent tip clean the pipe and get yourself some fibro but also, so this is just what i meant before how i cut the ends on the old compressor and just unsweated it without the compressor being in there and yeah so that's it easier i reckon i'm not a um i'm not an expert but I think that's good advice for some of the younger guys and girls. So, I'm going to do that one first, and then the one at the back, which I just got to, what I do is I normally just put like a shifter at the back and just lift it up a bit, and whilst it's lifted, I solder it in, but anyway, I'm going to put a bunch of that stuff in there, run a little bit of nitro through, get that soldered in, get it on back, um, but you just have to be careful with this thing because the only thing that's really holding that there is that, and that's actually, like, you can kink. It's three out quite, you can kink that easy. So I normally just put that there to give myself a bit of room. That's, that's honestly plenty of room. All right, let's get it in. So for example, taking that sensor out, I've wrapped the, HP switch in a wet rag, so it sensors out, HP switch is protected, wet rag, just put a bit of that there, so I'm just going to have a little nice neat flame going in, do that, and nothing gets cooked, and then take it out, do the same for the suction, and then you can make everything nice and neat after. solder and I had to go to my bag and get all these leftovers that were just sitting in the bottom of my tool bag <laughs> fridgy life tough times anyway I need to get more solder all right I'm gonna do the suction line and then get it done yeah, I'm watching the rise, and I wouldn't say I'm shocked because I'm hardly surprised. This one's for the ride, this one's for who knew I'd make it, just needed some time. This one's for my wife, could have left a thousand times just to by my side. This one's for the grind, I knew it would happen, just had to strengthen my mind. To the videos, they thought I was a black guy. Mm. I 
it's hard to get over. I'm falling in this world, but I'm fully devoted. I don't take it for granted that the doors are open. I knew I was different. I knew I was chosen. A breadwinner, but I'm soft-spoken. Authentic like a 5950 and there's no cat. Let's have a toast to that. Let's have a toast for the real ones. So, compressor's bolted in, the jacket's on, it's got little cutout sections for each foot, so you know where it goes. Um, that sensor is back in with the clip so it doesn't slip out. Um, yeah, everything's back to how it was, the top's on. There's, Solder joins. I've actually got nitro on it at the moment, but they're all sweet. I did actually tear that pulling it out because that is tight getting out. So I'm gonna go put some silver tape over that section. But anyway, it's not a big deal as long as it's wrapped up. Um, alrighty. I'm gonna start putting this back together and get it back. And I'm watching the ride, and I wouldn't say I'm shocked because I'm hardly surprised. This one's for the ride, this one's for who knew I make it, just needed some time. For my wife, could have left a thousand times just so by my side. This one's for the grind. I knew it would happen, just had to strengthen my mind. Till the videos and thought I was a black guy. Mm, it's hard to get over. I'm falling in this world, but I'm fully devoted. I don't take it for granted that the doors are open. I knew I was different. I knew I was chosen. A breadwinner, but I'm soft spoken. All of them like a 5950, and there's no cat. Let's have a toast to that. Let's have a toast for the real For the shoes come dirty, but the European less is more and less is the bank. Up the store, I pull up from trade. From the trade, I'm born like Trey. Do what I can, I do what you can. I wrote this 30,000 feet up, 10 toes stay g up. I'm trying to get that type of wealth like a house on the hills. Can't see us, say the money still me up. Stay humble, stay teed up. I don't tell you how to live, so don't hit me with no weak stuff. And if you know the deal, then you know the deal. If it's real, then you know. Let's have a toast for the real ones. Let's have a toast for the real. Let's have a toast for the real ones. Let's have a toast for the real. Let's have a toast for the real ones. Have a toast for the real. Let's have a toast for the real ones. Have a toast for the
talking 6 a.m. tea times. 18 with the mayor talking land banks. I waited for it, gotta get mine. Snack a seat up at the table if my man can't. Head into a meeting, we're familiar with no briefcase. Just my mind in a free state. I got a plan through a vision, but it takes time. I'm gonna make mine. Summertime and why? So you just got to, um, it's still got to be in the recovery mode, refrigerant recovery mode, and you just charge it through the liquid. That's according to this thing. Alright, so we need... 32 2.9 that's if it's an under 30 meter run which it is easily like it's probably like a 10 15 meter run no solder joins just flare brand new pipe flare so and it had a heaps good vac with um my offsider he's got a way better vacuum pump than i do one of those field piece ones and um so this thing had no solder joins and a heaps good vac with a good vac pump but sometimes the compressors are just faulty unfortunately put some tape there apart from that it's exactly how it was before This one's got two electronic expansion valves. I didn't realize that.
done. to think twice about mounting stuff on brackets because some houses um, you can hear a vibration on the inside more than others I don't know what the go is but um, a lot of customers that I have want it up on brackets so they can still utilize the bottom area you really need to um, take into consideration what's on the other side of the wall so this was put in position and it's in a good position but um, now since obviously eight months ago they've totally um, changed the inside layout like they've changed the like they've renovated and now their master bedroom is literally on the other side of this wall when it never used to be so you still can't hear it but probably wouldn't have put it up there if I knew they were going to change the layout. Anyway, that's cranking a bit. Just leave it and see how it goes. It's definitely quieter though. It's been running for a while now and that's not making a noise so I think we're good. So the customer just came home as I was leaving and um, as soon as he heard it, he's like, that is so much better than what it was. Um, so he's really happy. If he's happy, I'm happy. Um, I was pretty like, not frustrated, just like a little bit disappointed that the compressor was noisy in the first place. But I understand that these things happen. Um, so it is what it is. Um, inverter DC compressors it's, it's not common for them to be like noisy for no reason but I wouldn't say it's uncommon either like they're just not that good <laughs> anyway that's all done um, but I just wanted to say before I end this video um, if you're one of the 80% of people that watch my videos like regularly and you haven't subscribed yet if you could subscribe and also click the bell notification that would be epic I don't fully understand why but 
the subscribing doesn't actually do anything anymore like if you subscribe that doesn't necessarily mean you're going to see my videos come up so you need to subscribe and press the bell notification i don't know why the hell you have to do two things now like but that's just the way youtube is at the moment but um yeah if you could subscribe that would be awesome and to everyone who already has subscribed and comments positively thank you so much i really appreciate it so Anyway, I hope everyone has a good week and I'll see you on the next one. See ya.